the world's very first commercial hydrogen engine is on its way. In a groundbreaking development earlier this year, JCB, the British construction company, has cleared significant hurdles in its quest to commercialize the world's very first hydrogen combustion engine. It secured type approval and certification from 11 European licensing authorities, which marks a significant milestone in the company's pretty ambitious efforts to decarbonize its entire product offering. There have been multiple hydrogen combustion engines developed over the past few decades as an alternative to fuel cells which run on electricity. BMW, Honda, and even Toyota have developed and tested these engines only as a prototype. But JCB here is the first company to do this on a commercial scale and obtain regulatory certification. This means that this engine has been verified by European authorities to perform safely, run smoothly, and have the quality needed for industrial scale use. This means that this technology can potentially be replicated for use in other applications like passenger cars and semi-trucks as well. As a matter of fact, it took a team of more than 150 engineers and more than 100 million euros in development over a span of three years for JCB to get to this stage. The company produced more than 130 evaluation engines in its pilot production facility for vehicles like backhoe loaders, loadal telescopic handlers and generator sets, and conducted significant amount of real-world testing at JCB's hydrogen equipment facility in the United Kingdom. The type approval certification that JCB has achieved, as a matter of fact, is a very important type of formal certification, because not only does it allow the vehicle and technology to be sold commercially in the state, but it signals to stakeholders, investors, customers, and regulatory bodies that JCB's hydrogen technology meets the necessary standards for commercial use, which can signal other companies to make similar investments as they clearly see a path to pass regulatory setbacks. And as for why exactly this is a big deal, well, hydrogen internal combustion engines could be the only way these engines operate without the use of any significant CO2 emissions, as well as complicated exhaust systems. The European Union, as a matter of fact, is one of the strictest regulatory authorities in the entire world. They are pushing electric vehicles and decarbonization at a level not seen by any other government in the world, which means companies have more at risk if they don't invest in innovative new technologies. And hydrogen combustion alongside fuel cells and batteries, happens to be just so one of them. You see, folks, not only is there no particulate matter emissions with the combustion of hydrogen, but you can also make the hydrogen fuel completely emissions-free through solar panels or wind turbines using electrolysis. Now, yes, there are certain emissions with hydrogen because it is a gas and it reacts with the oxygen, most of it being NOx emissions that can be eliminated using after-treatment systems like catalytic converters, which are already commercially available. But the most challenging part has always been with hydrogen is the pressure as well as the knocking conditions within the actual combustion chamber where the intense heat and the extremely low combustion temperature can cause the hydrogen atoms to potentially destroy the engine. But that technology has clearly now been validated by JCB and something that can be replicated by the broader industry. Regardless of what type of hydrogen you use, compressed hydrogen is extremely agile and practical for heavy duty applications where weight as well as usage duration are very critical. And commercial vehicles used for construction applications just so happen to be one of them where they can't be really hauling around big batteries that need to be replaced end of life, are affected by temperature, and increase extremely fast in cost with their capacity. What's more is that hydrogen combustion allows you to use less hydrogen infrastructure than fuel cells, because it is using a technology already in use and that already has test procedures 
as well as an entire control system built around it. JCB, as a matter of fact, is using and partnering with H2 refueling companies and producers to develop green hydrogen used at their design and manufacturing facilities, which is the exact same concept that can be used in the industry where you can make a centralized hydrogen production facility at a low cost, but with a very high duty cycle, where it can be used to feed these vehicles that are using construction in the specific area, or similar in long haul trucking, where you could use predetermined locations and keep a very few amount of hydrogen stations. This can kickstart the hydrogen economy like nothing else, and can create a virtuous cycle leading to much greater availability of hydrogen that is not only made from natural gas, but also from green applications. Additionally, pairing a hydrogen generator, like in a fuel cell, with battery boxes can become a really critical way of powering off-site microgrids, as construction sites across the world rely mostly on diesel power because of insufficient and inaccessible grid connections. A versatile energy carrier like hydrogen is the exact alternative that customers are seeking as a result. It's going to be extremely exciting to see what kind of iterations of this hydrogen engine come out over the next few years and how the products fare in the real world. But the reality is we're seeing significant progress with what JCB here has accomplished in their path to a decarbonized future. As usual, folks, let me know your thoughts on JCB's new technology down in the comment section below. And thanks a lot for watching. Take care.